Okay, now in this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and use Metasploit to attack a Windows machine for the first time. So we've got a Windows 7 running in a virtual machine and we're running Metasploit on Linux with our latest update. Our attack is based on setting or creating a payload from Metasploit and then delivering and running that payload on the Windows machine. Now, of course, here the social engineering and phishing attacks can take place to send the payload and let the, the, the user run that payload, right? So now we're going to go ahead and start MSF payload and uh, Windows slash uh, Meteor Preter slash. All right, now we're going to go ahead and use reverse TCP as the payload here. We need to set the host that the payload should connect to. Since we're on the local network, I'm going to go ahead and set my IP address to 172.16.4.129, right? And we're going to save this file to our desktop and give it a name. I'm going to call it r underscore TCP for reverse TCP dot exe. And here the payload is generated. You can see Let's go ahead and press copy. I'm going to wait a few seconds. All right, it looks like I forgot to put equals here. So let me go ahead and delete this one. All right, okay, there we go. Now you should wait for the command to finish, obviously, to see if you did anything wrong like I did. All right, so we're, going to good, to, we're good to go now. I'm going to move this payload to a location where it can be shared on the network. I have a website that I can share stuff on the network. And there we go. Now, we can access the website from the Windows machine and download this payload. So let's go to Windows, and we're going to go ahead and open Firefox and go to the IP address of Linux. And our payload is downloading now, right? Now, we're going to move to set the attack on our Linux machine. So let's move back here and start the Metasploit console. Now, we'll give it a few seconds to start. Depending on your configuration, you're going to see some messages here, right? There's nothing going wrong because I have the, the settings changed to mac my, match my configuration. And uh, MS, MSF start, so we're going to use the exploit for multi-handler, and we're using the multi-handler now. now. We're going to set the payload, set payload windows meteor preter. Now the type sometimes takes uh, a little bit of time to appear, so just, just give it a few seconds. Now we're going to specify again that we're going to use reverse TCP as the payload. So reverse underscore TCP. All right, down here, now again, we're going to confirm to set the local host to our system. So set local host to 172.16.4.129, confirming that the local host is the IP address. And now I can run the exploit with minus J and minus Z. So we'll start the payload. Looks like everything seems to be perfect right now. Now, this time I should wait for the victim to launch the payload. You want to convince him in some way to run it. So how are you going to do that? So I'm just going to run it here, and uh, well, let's go ahead and see how it looks on my Linux machine. So sending stages to the IP address of the victim, and I can see here a Meteor Preter session is, and it has been opened. All right, now I can type session minus L or list and to see all the currently running sessions. I can see there is one session. If I want to start here by initiating commands of the victim, then I can type session minus i and specify the ID of the session, which right now is one. So one. And now I'm in Meteor Preter. 